गुरवे गोरचंद्राय राधी का विस्तान कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदभक्ताय नमो नम बद्धे बितनुते भक्ति मूर्ख मावर्त श्रुति यदे श्रृपान गोपाल वेरी स्वीट बहुत कथा नितानंद एंड गोपी गीत वी एंजॉय देयर वेरी नाइस सो हियर विल कंटिन्यू दैट कथा ऑफ मंजरी गुलाब कुसुमांजरी फ्रॉम द हार्ट ऑफ रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी इन हिज साधक स्वरूप is remembering his previous past times which is connected with shrimati radharani which is connected with his seva of shrimati radharani which is connected with rupa manjari also so what is the importance of manjari in the leela very nicely it is said there in gobind lilamrita bibhurati sukharupa sap prakasho ti bhava kshanam api nahi radha krishna yor yariteshwa pravahati rasapushtim chit bibhuti rivesha srayati no padmasham ka sakhinam rasagya Krishna he is almighty we know he can do anything but to get nourishment for himself he needs his chit bibhuti what is that chit bibhuti we know such chit ananda that chit bibhuti but mainly he is getting his pleasure from nadi so the beauty of their meeting meeting of sri radha govind the beauty of their very sweet secret pastimes it's self manifested it's going it's not just acting they are acting for the devotees for the sakis and manjitis no sap prakasha very nicely it is said sap prakasho pibha that means self expressed like the flow of water how the river is flowing down you have not to say now we have to go in that direction in that direction river will flow in his own direction so same the leela also the sweetness of their very beautiful pasta is also self expressed but then also what is important it is said prabhuhuti rasapushtim chit bibhuti divesha srayati no padma sankah shakinam rasagya so the important thing yes it self expresses all the leelas the sweetness of their meeting it from their heart it's also self expressed but it will never possible if the sakis and manjaris are not there mm-hmm. to get that nourishment for for from that leela shrimati radharani and sri krishna both of them they need the manjari and sakis so without sakis and manjaris they cannot perform any sweet leela madhura leela 
They must be there. So, Raghunath Das Goswami, one of them, who is most intimate Sakhi of Srimati Radharani. So, we'll continue with that Katha. So, what has happened? We were at the morning time that Sri Rupa Manjari, she was preparing Sri Krishna for Srimati Radharani. Because she was really unconscious, paralyzed. In that game of their love, in that cave of Giriraj, Krishna was completely dominated by Srimati Radharani. She was under control and when she was unconscious, Srimati Radharani left him in that way and she joined to her Sakitan Manjari in another garden. That time she was very proud. So that's why Manjari, they have attachment with Srimati Radharani. But at the same time, they can read the mind and heart of Srimati Radharani. So Tulasi Manjari, she starts to feel that. Okay, Radhe, now you are feeling so proud. But I know after some time you will cry for Krishna. So don't continue this pride. And that's why Tulasi Manjari, he addressed Srimati, she addressed Srimati Radharani as Thala Kamalini. You are lotus from the water. How you can act like that land lotus? It's not really soft and sweet like that lotus. You must be like that. We worship you as that lotus, which is very soft and most beautiful in this world. Because we are comparing everything of you. Vadana Kamal, your, your face look like lotus, but land lotus is not really beautiful. We are comparing your eyes with lotus, lotus eye. We are comparing your arms with lotus. Yes. So, you should not do that, Radhe. Be careful about that. So, Rupa Manjari, Tulasi Manjari, she was convincing Srimati Radharani in that way by addressing. Because in front of all Sakis Manjari, she cannot say so many things. What, what's happened there? She cannot express all the truths. What's happened there in the cave? That she left Krishna unconscious there and she came here and she is showing her pride to all the other Sakis Manjaris and making fun. So, she is convincing Srimati Radharani, please control yourself. Krishna is coming. Krishna already got that news by that very beautiful snail of your body. Badana Shura. And he got that and he is following that year. Because the nature of Krishna is like honeybees, bumblebees. You have not to say to Krishna that honeybees, to, to that bumblebee, that what is that lotus? Anyhow he will find it. But that time Krishna was really uh, unconscious. He lost everything by that very special mood of Srimati Radharani. So he cannot use his intelligence. So he took shelter to the Manjari, Tulashi Manjari and Sri Rupa Manjari. Please tell me where is my Radhi? You know she left me there in the cave when I was unconscious completely. 
So Rupa Manjari said, I know where she is. So please follow me. When they are on the door of that garden, very beautiful garden, Rupa Manjari stops Sura Krishna. Now you have to prepare yourself. And Tulashi Manjari, she went to Srimati Radharani to convince her because they, both of them, I said at the morning time, must they move on the same, same level. Otherwise, that pleasure will not come. In love, pride is good. But when that pride is connected with each other, for each other, Not only about me, myself, no. Krishna can show his pride. Yes, my beloved is Srimati Radharan. Srimati Radharan the same way she can show her pride in that way. My lover is Krishna. So then this pride is useful for love. Otherwise, the problem will come, they cannot enjoy. The nourishment will be not there. So that's why Tulashi Manjari she was convincing Srimati Radharani and Rupa Manjari she was preparing Sri Krishna. So after that, Rupa Manjari she brought Krishna and offered his place beside Srimati Radharani, they are on the screen. So all the Sakis Manjaris, when Sri Radha Govinda is there in front of them, they are seated on the swing. So the Sakis Manjaris, they start to enjoy that moment. The Sakis start to dance. Some Sakis, because they are, all of them, they are very expert about music singing, playing instruments. So all of them, they start that. It's like a festival for them. So they start. And some Manjaris, they are just beside of Srimati Radha because they need something, maybe. Some Manjaris, they are pushing that swing. And some Manjaris, they came to them and want to make some fun, so heavy way he start to swing that swing. So he start to push that swing heavily. So Srimati Radharan was scared about that, and she was embraced. Sri Krishna, Krishna also was enjoying that. She was indicating that Manjari, okay, more. <laughs> I need more. So after some time, the Sakis, they invite Srimati Radharani, Radha, please come, join us. And Krishna also requests to Srimati Radharani. Okay, now I'll play the flute and you have to dance with all your Sakis. Srimati Radhani started dancing. But after some time, she found, she forgot her upper cloth there in that cave. It's called Mekhala. In Bengali language or Sanskrit language, it's called Mekhala. So she forgot there in that cave. No, oh, it's that upper cloth, like this. But how she will say that? Then everybody will know. So here the Manjari act very important. So look at Tulashi Manjari. During her dancing, so look at Tulashi Manjari. And Tulashi Manjari got that. 
only by looking that indication she ran there in that cave and she brought that necklace but when she will offer then the dance will stop the dance will stop because she has to wear that she has to wear that cloth to Srimati Radharani so then everything will be some kind of mess up no the Manjari is an expert about that seva you know what she did she also start to dance with Srimati Radharani together all the sakis they are standing surrounding Srimati Radharani it was a big circle of sakis and Tulasi Manjari she start to dance with Srimati Radharani circling her and during her dancing, she offered, she wore that mekla to Srimati Radharani. Nobody recognized that. What's happened there? Everybody got that point. It's the part of them, their dance. So Manjari is so expert. Sometimes Krishna also wants to serve Srimati Radharani. You know? What's happened in Rashtalina? Krishna was playing flute and Srimati Radharani was dancing. There was condition. That dance also was with many conditions. It was very difficult to follow <coughs> all the condition. But Srimati Radharani was following all the condition. And suddenly one ankle bell from her feet is just fall down. So everything was there harmonized. All the instrument. Krishna was playing flute, Vishaka, Mridanga, and other Veena. So, so many instruments were there together, they were playing, and it was the beat was there by the ankle bell of Srimati Radharani. How we are using Karthal? That Karthal was there in that total orchestra that Kartal was the ankle bell of Srimati Radharani. But when it's fall down, so it stopped. That time Krishna he part from that seva for Srimati Radharani. In one hand he was playing flute and by one hand he offered that ankle bell again he placed that ankle bell too. Srimati Radharani's feet during her dancing. So after that the dance was complete, when they were resting together, so Srimati Radharani, they said to Krishna, Oh, you are very expert. Okay. You are very expert. So why? So beautifully, in a special way, Again, you place my ankle bell in my feet. Like, yes, it was okay, but it was not like your manjari. They are more special. They are more perfect than me. Sri Krishna also want to serve Srimati Radharani like the manjaris. How they can, Krishna also cannot. Sometimes it's happened if cannot go further so much because only one lecture is left. But I have to just remember that point. Once it's happened, after their meeting, that very secret pastime in Rahanikunja Vilasa. So it was so on the high position, everything, all the dresses were ruined. The decoration of Sarmati Radharani's hair was completely destroyed by Krishna. Even the red leg from her feet was disappeared. It's really very difficult, difficult to just uh, wipe all the red leg from the feet in India because it's very strong. 
you cannot was by just show up and what Krishna did with Srimanti Radha in that red lake also did that. Yeah. So after that, Srimanti Radharani she found, oh, everything is disordered. So she said, in a very special mood, you have to do that, everything again. Otherwise, my sakis, they will start to make some fun with me. Because they decorated my manjaris, they, they decorated and you destroyed everything. Where is my cloth? Krishna said it. Okay. I do everything for you. It's my service for you. Srimati Radharani, she said, okay, start with my feet. And she placed her lotus feet to the lap of Sri Krishna. And you know what's happened? Krishna start to see her sick. Okay. Krishna start to see her. He was shaking. When he got that touch of Srimati Radharani's lotus feet on his lap, Krishna start to shake. And he cannot draw that red lap. Srimati Radharani, she pushed Krishna to his chest by her feet. Oh, no, you cannot. Tulasi, come. <laughs> Srimati Radharani called Tulashi Manjari. They come. Krishna cannot. Only you can do that. So Tulashi Manjari again. They replaced everything for Srimati Radharani. So it's the connection of Manjari. Here, It is said, Prajendra Vasati Sthale Vividha Valla Vishankule Tvame Varati Manjari Prachura Punna Punjodaya Vilasa Bharavismrita Pranai Mekhala Margane Yadadda Nijanathaya Prajashi Nathita Gandharam Rahunath Dasa Goswami in his Sadhaka mood In his Sadhaka mood he is praising his own form, Rati Manjari. Oh, Rati Manjari. You are so fortunate. Rati Manjari. Which verse? Oh, third. Bilapa Manjali. Yeah. Oh, Rati Manjari. You are so fortunate. You are really very fortunate that Srimati Radharani she engaged you directly to her seva. And she accepted you as a very intimate manjari. So be always with Srimati Radharani. That is the duty of manjari to serve the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Prabhu rapi yadunandana ya yesha priya yadunandana unnata prabhava Shayamatula Kripa Mrita Vishekam Mamo Kritabang Stamahang Burun Prapadhi. After that, in some sloka, Raghunatha Dasha Goswami, he offered his pranam to his Guru because only by his mercy he got everything. Then, next sloka, he offered his pranam to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu. And then Sanatan Goswami. Yo man dustara geha nid jala maha pupa da parakramat. Shadya shandra dayambudhi prakadita shairi kripa rajubhi. Udritvatma saroja nindi charana prantam prapadya shvayam. Sri damu dara shachakara tvamaham chaitanya chandran bhaji. He is showing his pranam to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not only that, he was very merciful to him. He accepted Raghunath Dasgur Swami. Not only for that, 
you introduce Sarupa Damodar to me. And from Sarupa Damodar, I got all those knowledge how to serve Sri Gaura Shundar. Together uh, with Sarupa Damodar and Raghunatha Dasu Goswami, they served in Nilachal, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 12 years. 12 years they were together there. So he was grateful to Swarupa Damodar. He mentioned that Sri Damodar Sat Chakar Tamaham Chaitanya Chandra Bhaji. That's why he Chaitanya Chandra. You are really very merciful that you introduced me Sarupa Damodar. Then Sanatan Goswami, Vaidagaju Bhakti Rasam. Prayatnai raparayo manmano bhipshu mandhano Kripam budir ya paraduksha dukshi sanatanam tvam prohum asvaya. He mentioned here paraduksha dukshi. Only you realized my pain when I was on the way to commit suicide. You stopped me. Actually, Sanatan Goswami, he decided to commit suicide. She will jump from the mountain of Giri Raja and she will die. So Sanatan Goswami but stop him. So no, is it not so easy to attain Krishna Prema? If only by killing oneself one will attain Krishna, then so many devotees they will do that. And he also mentioned about his life, you know, I also decided. But Sir Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu he stopped me and he engaged me in that bhajana practice. So that's why he mentioned here Paraduksha Dukshi. You are really very merciful to me that you sent me here in Radha Kunda. And you sent me to Rupa Goswami and from Rupa Manjari was most intimate Sakhi of me there in Vrindavan. So I am really grateful to you. Now again that mood came in the heart of Raghunatha Dasa Goswami. Attut katena nitarang viraha nalena dandad jamana hridaya tilaka pidashi ha swamini Shana miha pranai nagarha ma kuranta nina vidhura vilapami padye. In his sadhaka mood, Raghunatha Dasho Sami is crying. O Radhe, please look at me. Attut katena nitarang virahana rena. Attut katena means. It's most highest virahana. Antalarabhu. And he's praying to Srimati Radharani Radhe. That anal, that fire of your separation, of your viraha for me is antalarabhu. Attut Katina. I want to be there always. Maybe there is some mistake of me. Maybe there is some opera. That's why you are not here. But I know you are very near to me. That's why I am Bilapami. I am lamenting. Please look at me. So when the Manjaris, they will uh, develop such kinds of mood in their heart. Then that seva will appear. Because they always want to be there with Srimati Radharani. They always want to engage in the seva of Srimati Radharani. There is very nice verse by Rupa Goswami. You know, Chatu Pushpanjali. It's very beautiful, very sweet. There is some verse. I have to mention
कोचितं चाटु पटुना तेन गुष्ठेन्द्र शूनुना प्रार्थना नो चला पंगं प्रसाद द्रक्षसे मया त्वां शाद माधवी पुष्पैर माधवी नफलाविदा प्रसाद वाना शिद्धंति विजयश्यामंगरा केली विश्रंशनो वक्र पेश ब्रिंदश्च सुंदरी शमस्कारा योपदादि भी जनमी तंजिश्च पदाविमुष्टितमूलं मयातवमुखामुदे अर्पो मानो प्रजाधीशो सुनलाचिद्धवक्षते ब्रजराज कुमार वल्लभा पुलशिमंतवनी प्रशीजमे परिवार वनश्वते जथा पदवी मीनो दुग्यशिपल the most highest prayer from the heart of Manjari what is that Brajaraj Kumar Vallava Kulashimantamani Prashidam. Please be merciful to me. Hey Radhe, please accept me. I know you have your big family. I want to see me there in your family as a family member. So the sadhakas, they must try to be there as a the family member of Srimati Radhana. परिवार वनस्थते जाता पदवी मेनो दुबियशी भूमि। You know what is पदवी? The title. Title, designation. It's पदवी. Which is the best designation for us? When we can say, I am the family member of Simati Radhani. That is the most highest designation for us. So Rupa Manjari there in that verse of Chat Pushpanjali says Radhe. He expressed the mood of all Manjaris, not only about Rupa Manjari. Hey Radhe, whenever I'll get that chance. Tvam Sadhu Madhvi Pushpair Madhu Minapalavda Prashad Tamanam Shiddanti Vijayasya Mahamkara. Maybe sometimes you'll be angry to Krishna. And maybe Lalita Shakti, so get him out from the Kunja. But again, after some time, Krishna came to manage your anger. And see, he brought some Madhvi flower because some flower is very favorite for Srimati Radharani. You know what is that? Madhvi, Champaka. Juthi, Mallika, all those flowers are very favorite from Mati Radharani. She loves all those flowers. So that's why whenever some problem will come, Krishna will bring those flowers and you will offer. When Krishna will come with that Madhvi flowers, or you will make some garland with that Madhvi flowers and he will offer to you. And only to see that, that Krishna brought that Madhvi flower or Madhvi garland to the place of Krishna. Again you will accept, again you will forget all his mistakes. You will forgive him. So, Radhe, whenever I will be there, Whenever I will get that chance to see that very beautiful pastimes. After your meeting when your hair will disorder. And you will ask to Krishna. Now you have to again rearrange my hair. But it's very difficult for Krishna. Only Manjaris can do that. Because the hair of Srimati Radharani is very curly. Keli Vishrangshino Bakra Kesho Vrindasya Shandrani. You will order to Krishna. Krishna, you have to do that again. You have to de decorate my hair and rearrange my hair. So Krishna will start to try to rearrange your hair with comb. But it is very curly. 
বক্র কেশ ও বৃন্দস্য সুন্দরী ও বিউটিফুল আই উল ফিল দ্যাট ফার্ম ইন মাই হার্ট টু সি দ্যাট কৃষ্ণ ইস ট্রাই টু কন্ট্রোল ইউর হিয়ার হুইচ ইস রিয়েলি আনকন্ট্রোল বাই হিম ব্রজাধীশ্রাচ্ছিন্ন Whenever I'll get that chance, after your very secret past times, you will ask me, hey, Rupa, bring some bitter leaves. Because that time for bitter leaves is very sweet. When they'll meet and after Krishna will leave, so Srimati Radharani is enjoying to remember. It's, it's known as Anuranan. It's Prema Anurana. Do you know what is Anurana? If you hit the bell, so it will sound, is that? Tongue. You will hit one, but that sound will last long. Tongue. You will hit only one, but the sound will be very long. That is, that continue. Funny. Yes. It's Anurana. It's Prema Anurana. In the meeting, there is no pleasure actually. Pleasure is there after that. Because when they will meet, that time will pass very fast. When they are together, that time will pass very fast. It's the nature of love. After Ras Rajani, Sramati Radharani, she expressed her feelings to her Sakhi. You know Ras Rajani, how long it was? Night. A night of Brahma. Brahma Ratra Samavritya. So, 4,000 Yugas were there. It was not a very short time. <laughs> they enjoyed all the Sakis, Manjaris, in the Ras Lila with Krishna. Everyone was satisfied. But next day, Srimati Radharani she revealed a realization to her Sakis. And we can see that in Nishanta Lila Kirtan, Gato Jamini, Jito Dhamini, Kamini Kulo Lage. Hey Sakhi, it was very beautiful night. How I was prayed to Krishna and to Yogamaya, and we enjoyed it that way. So I was very satisfied. But you know, that night was really very short. The time was very short of our meeting. And how much short it was? Gato Jamini Jito Dhamini. It was more faster than lightning. It passed that night more faster than lightning. So just think about that. Nature of love. What is that? 4,000 yugas, it passed more faster than lightning. It was their realization. So, in the meeting, they are not enjoying that pleasure. Actually, they are enjoying that pleasure of their meeting after that, which is known as Anuranan. So, that time, Srimati Radharani said one. To remember all this meeting and that moment with some bitter lips. 
So Srimati Rajan, she said to Rupa Manjari, bring some little leaves. So Rupa Manjari very nicely carried that. And she offered to Srimati Rajanani. So by mind, Srimati Rajanani she offered to Krishna first. Because everything, she loves to take prasad of Krishna. So by mind, she offered to Krishna. And then she start to chew. <coughs> but something happened. Something happened very nice. Kala Mushti Tamburun. That Rupa Manjari, Rupa Goswami Pada is describing. Kala Mushti Tamburun Mayatva Muhammad or Kumana Bhajajra Shunrachit Dhamushapi. Suddenly Krishna will come there. So Krishna was not totally out from that place. He was waiting somewhere. When you start to chew that bitter leaves, suddenly Krishna will come and by force she will take that tambul from your mouth and will take. And she will not take by his hand. She will not take that tambul, uh, that bitter leaves from your mouth by his hand. No, forcefully he will take that by his mouth. From your mouth. So Rupa Manjari is praying, whenever I'll get that chance that I'll be the witness of that very beautiful pastimes. So Manjaris, they have such connection. Here in the in that verse, Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, Attut Kateno Nitrang Birahan Alena. I am suffering. Hey Raji, I am suffering by your separation. It's like fire for me. I am burning. So that is your responsibility to save my life. Please look at me. I have so many things to reveal. I have so many things to say. To whom? I'll go to reveal my heart only to you. So Radhe, please come to me. I know you are very near to me. You are hearing my voice. You are waiting. Maybe you got the same nature of Krishna. Because Krishna loved to see that Prima Bilas. What is that? How we are crying for Krishna, how we are talking for Krishna, how we are offering, doing, serving Krishna. Krishna loves to see that. We are crying for Krishna. Oh Krishna, please come to me. But Krishna loves that, to see that I am crying for Krishna. So here, Raghunath Das Goswami, maybe. Because of that association with Krishna, you also got the same nature. I know you are very near to me. And you are listening my voice, what I am saying. Or maybe, and it is some offense against you, please tell me. Because knowingly, I will never perform any offense against you. So, if there is any offense, if something is there, mistakes, fault of me, so please clear, please come to me. It is good that you just punish me. Then also I can see you, then also I will be always with you. If you come and punish me, anyhow, kicking me by the stick, you can beat me, but you have to do that. I'll get that punishment from you, not other. So Manjaris, they have such kinds of attachment with Srimati Radharani. So that's why Raghunath Dasu Goswami is revealing his heart to Srimati Radharani. Now he start to cry. Because now no more Lila is coming to his heart. 
the sphural expressing lila it's not come to his heart so he start to cry maybe shrimati radharani reject rejected me so he's crying to shrimati radharani so what shrimati radharani will do if she will accept dasa goswami prayer or she will reject ragunath dasa goswami we can see tomorrow morning because now he is praying to Srimati Radharani. So Srimati Radharani has to judge about that. He is crying. He is Swamini, he is Swamini, Nitaram, Virahan, Alena, Tutkote. Now it is intolerable. I am burning. So please come to me. And I know Srimati Radharani will never allow any manjari is burning, so she will come. But what she will do? Tomorrow morning we will say, Haribo, Janitai.